cute guest in my lap right here. It's time for our Pet of the Week segment. All right, the Wisconsin Humane Society here with a pet in need of a new home. I'm joined by Abby Nims from the Wisconsin Humane Society. And who is this? This is Miss Daisy. Daisy. She's two months old. She's spayed, microchipped, vaccinated, and you can, um, she'll be available for adoption at 11 a.m. at our Milwaukee campus when we open today. She is absolutely adorable, by yeah. the way. Look at her coloring and her She's great gotta be a great butt, demeanor. Right. Probably a combination of a couple dogs. I, probably, but yeah. But hundred percent cute. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's all that matters, sure. right? There you go. There's, there's the close up that we need. Look at that oh, beautiful man. face. Oh, dude, so cute. Mm -hmm. Look and at that, that little star, that little white yeah. mark. The markings are the best. Mm -hmm. Now we were talking uh, in the break about harnesses for pets. A lot yeah. of people, you know, do I get a harness? Stick with the collar. Mm -hmm. what, what do we What do we recommend here? Yeah. Well, one of the most common questions we get is, how do I stop my dog from pulling on the leash mm -hmm. when we walk? Now, what you might not know is that a dog's natural response to pressure is to push into pressure. Okay. So when a dog feels a tug on their collar, their urge is going to be to push forward, which seems counterintuitive to us, but that's just kind of their natural response. Mm -hmm. So the best way to curb that is to find a harness that's a good fit for you and your dog. Okay. Um, Miss Daisy's just sporting one of our standard harnesses today, mm -hmm. but there are a couple specific ones that we recommend. One is the Sensation Harness. Okay. And if you want to, I can write these down for yeah, you later. Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm in the market for a <laughs> harness, so yes, this yeah. is all good info for yeah, me. Yeah, so the Sensation Harness and the Weiss Walkie are two we really like. Um, we sell both of those at our Animal Antics stores mm -hmm. at all three of our WHS locations. But the idea behind a harness is that it transfers pressure from a dog's neck to their body. Right. So that's going to eliminate that urge to want to push forward with mm -hmm. the neck. Um, it's a simple and a humane way to make walk safer and more uh, uh, more enjoyable for right. you and your dog right. and just remember when you get home to take it off because it can start to wear into the skin if okay. you leave it on for too long. And I noticed you started early with Daisy probably better advice right the earlier you can get them into harness the more they get used to it. I <laughs> would think so yeah yeah just to kind of get them used to that sensation on their body mm -hmm. rather than their neck so they don't have to kind of retrain themselves later. Do you she, want to stay Daisy she's gonna and be our mascot? Right <laughs> I know I got the magic touch this morning I'm telling you I, I got the belly scratches going on uh -huh. I wouldn't want to leave either if I were her, to be honest with you. Isn't that right? You want to stick around a little while longer? She sure does. She wants to go home with someone, I think, actually. I don't I don't think she'll have a problem with I'm that. looking at two. <laughs> 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 one day, one Debs day, Daisy. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Abby, so much for coming <laughs> in this morning. If you'd like to adopt Daisy or her sister, Tulip. Tulip, yeah. She's available today, right, mm -hmm. at the Humane Society, their main branch over at 4500 West Wisconsin Avenue. We do have more information posted on our website as well, WISN.com.